What's up, Internet? This is Big Fat Video Game Nerd, and I'm coming at you with some awesome video game news. And and today, the subject of conversation is going to be the Wii. -a. This is a new indie game platform um, developed by the uh, Ermin. I think that's how you say her name. She uh, is really, really cool, and I've included a link over to their website um, down in the description so you can check out the video uh, that they made kind of talking about this awesome new gaming platform that they're going to be releasing next year in March. Um, fingers crossed that they uh, <laughs> release it on time. So uh, for those of you who have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, this is a new video game console. It's following in the footsteps of companies like Roku or On Live, where you're going to be connecting uh, a gaming device to your television. So they're going right up against uh, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, um, and they want to give uh, game developers a cheaper way to get content to um, gamers. You know, and so it's going to be a very, very big indie game platform and there's going to be some other really cool features of it. Um, it has an introductory price of $99 so you can't go wrong there. And uh, this lady, she, her and her team, they started a kick, uh, Kickstarter project which ended on the 10th which was, which was just a couple days ago actually. And what's really cool about it is they got over 63,000 backers and um, they raised almost nine million dollars, about eight and a half million dollars. So they came in about nine hundred and five percent above their goal, which is awesome because you know this sends a very clear message to developers um, and companies that there is a huge market for this kind of stuff. Uh, gamers are like a man in the desert; they're very thirsty, they're very hungry for new content, and they're really tired and pissed off at having to pay these outrageous prices um, because the cost to produce games and get them on these platforms with all their fees and everything. Um, are very, very high. So uh, for a person like me that just wants to play lots of games um, at a cheap price, I love I love stuff like Steam, um, and if Steam could come to the TV in a little console, I would eat it up. So this is like that, and I'm really, really excited about it because a lot of developers have already uh, said this is a great idea. We completely agree with what they're doing, and we're going to back them, and we're going to get good games onto it. So a lot of their success is going to depend on word of mouth from people like me and people like you spreading the word about it um, and, and making people buy it, getting people to buy it, and as well as um, you know how how much backing they get from developers. Uh, you can see this in uh, platforms today because games, uh, systems like the Wii and the PlayStation Vita, they don't have any developer backing so there's hardly any games for them that are quality. So all the good games go to computer, PlayStation 3, and Xbox and those get the most sales and DS. I mean everyone owns a DS so uh, Nintendo's got that area covered. But for TV, you know, playing it on my big screen, you know, 1080p, you know, 50 inch in the living room, um, you know, the, you know, it's just like why I pay 60 bucks for a game. I'd rather wait for it to go on sale or try it out, rent it or something, and if it's really, really good, then I'll support the developer. But for indie games, I mean, like, you, you through the Xbox Marketplace and through the PlayStation Marketplace already, I mean, there's lots of games that I buy for 10 or $15 that I really love and enjoy. I mean, I got Minecraft when it was, like, 20 bucks or less, I think, maybe 15 or 10 and I played that game for, like, thousands of hours. I mean, that's, I mean, bang for your buck. So I think you're going to be seeing a lot of games like that, and you'll also see some games that have a lot of quality, either because they're from a current IP or just because the cost of development isn't that high, so they can really focus on things that actually drive games like story and innovation. Uh, there's a lot of indie, indie games out that I have on Steam that are just really, really fun and awkward and weird, and I just love playing the hell out of them because they're different. Um, and they're not just your standard generic action or driving or racing or fighting game um, or your standard RPG, um, you know. So that's really, really cool. I'm really, really excited about that. Namco Bandai has already said that they're going to um, sign up and make some content for the system. You can actually go on Namco's Facebook page and vote for what uh, IP you like to make sh sure gets there. So, you know, Namco owns uh, Tekken, Ridge Racer, Pac-Man, Galaga, all of that stuff. And then there's some other uh, developers like Square Enix, um, who I'm not really happy with right now, but still, they said that they'll definitely be putting Final Fantasy 3 on there. I'd like for them to, to create new content. I mean, that would be great. And good content, hopefully. Um, uh, Infinity Ward has said that they're going to be bringing some stuff on there. So hopefully, you know, I mean, it's going to be an open open source platform. Um, and I don't think, you know, I've got the hardware specs down in the description as well. It's got that new NVIDIA Tegra 3, which is coming in all those new um, uh, smartphones. So you're, you're talking about 
games that are the quality of smartphones, but then being able to play them on your TV with your friends because it's going to have a uh, four-player Bluetooth compatible controller. Um, that's really huge. I mean, that's really, really cool. Uh, you know, can you imagine a four-player Angry Birds game? I mean, I could, and I'd love to see that happen or something at least in its likeness um, where you're competing with your friends um, in real time on each stage, you know, maybe switching back turn to turn to see who can get the highest score or who can finish it with the least amount of birds or or stuff like that. So I think that there's a lot of uh, geniuses out there in the creative space for um, independent games. And so I'm just really, really excited about this and the prospects that it brings. I wish that the box was a little bit more powerful, but for a $99 price point, I mean, you're talking... Uh, a really you know good because I mean think about what they have in the smartphones and if it's dedicated to gaming they've also said that they'll have um, some of those gaming channels where you can watch League of Legends or Heroes of New Earth or other strategy video game t TV shows um, hopefully Dota and Steam and stuff will get on board with this I mean I know you can already watch those things through their platform but having the ability to watch those on my home TV um, would be great and now I know I can connect my computer to my TV as well but you know I'll pay 99 bucks for for this little thing and tell everyone about it like I'm doing right now um, so I'm really excited about it uh, are you guys excited about it? do you even know what the heck I'm talking about check it out I've included a lot of links down below um, for all this stuff and comment um, let's get pumped let's spread the word I mean this is cool and hopefully it means some really good quality cheap games um, that I can do lots of reviews for so <laughs> anywho uh, thanks for watching and have a great day